The Washington football team, their defensive tackle Matt Ioannidis has tested positive for COVID-19. The team placed him on the NFL's reserve COVID list today. The team released a statement that says in part, last night we were made aware that a Washington player tested positive for COVID-19. The player immediately self-isolated and the contact tracing data was evaluated. All of the players close contacts have been told to quarantine. Now the statement also states that the team has entered the NFL's intensive protocols. That means all meetings will be conducted virtually and the practice facility will be open to the staff, but limited access to the players. Matt Ioannidis, who hasn't played since week three, hasn't been in the team facility the past three days and didn't travel for Sunday's game at Detroit. Now, this is the first player on the Washington football team that has tested positive for coronavirus during the regular season. But listen to this. Just five days ago, head coach Ron Rivera was asked about the zero positive tests and had this to say. You know, you just jinxed us. Just so hope you know that you just jinxed us. Um, you know, plus with the league, you know, having us test every day, I think that helps. I really do. And, and hopefully we can continue that and, and, and skip this jinx that was just put on us and stay COVID free and, 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 you know, keep our fingers crossed that, that that's what happens. Now, no word yet if Washington's upcoming game against the Cincinnati Bengals is in jeopardy. The team already announced on Monday due to increasing COVID cases, there will be no fans at Sunday's game at FedEx Field.